I think everybody's gonna testify that's amazing experience. There aren't words that are gonna do it justice necessarily. The best thing that I can liken it to, or to provide you some semblance of what it's like really being here is the Matrix. Um, I think uh, we've, when you live in the world, when you go to church, so on and so forth, you don't necessarily know who you are. And uh, when you come here, you have a chance to get plugged out of the entire world system. And when you get plugged out of that system, you have time to really figure out who you are. And it's almost like uh, when he says, do you think, you know, in the matrix it says, you think that your muscles, your bones, your flesh has anything to do with this place and when you realize that you're not this shell when you realize that you're not the body that you live in but you come from a place and an inheritance that's far greater than you can ever imagine when you really understand that and you really realize that you're empowered in a way you're empowered through the kingdom and change just fall off I think um, for me, I had different ideas and different conceptualizations of how things should be. And um, now I look at it with different eyes and I look at it with uh, spiritual eyes and I feel that I can see things a lot more clearly. And um, to understand the real power that you have in you when you're a born again Christian to understand the power that your brothers and sisters in Christ have in them to understand that that God lives here and what that really means just enables you to do anything really like, enables you to do anything and the only thing that holds you back is your mind and all the ideas that you grew up in this world with and I think coming here helps you to figure that out and helps to take those chains off and to really understand what it means to be empowered and really to understand what it means to be who you are and where you come from, which is the inheritance of Christ. And that's, that's so powerful. I think um, I came here because I saw the actions in Pete's videos and I saw the different things that he was doing and I saw the books of Acts come into life mm -hmm. and I saw that and uh, that's what I was desirous of and and that's that's what I wanted um, but what I got I got all of that but you realize that that's 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 certainly a gift but to really understand that the Holy Spirit lives in you is is the true blessing and and a lot more comes with that and it's not it's not just about about those actions it goes so much deeper than that um in any one of these guys you 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 can you can heal people right now you can lay hands on the sick and they'll recover right now um and so i think i have two things um in summary that i would want to say the first thing is when you understand who you are and you understand that the spirit of the living God lives in you, anything is possible. Um, and when you're able to chew on that, and I do mean chew on that, y'all find out when you come to the school, um, it, makes, it makes it really powerful. And I think the second thing is just continually look up and don't, don't worry about what's going on in the world. If you look and keep your eyes on God, that'll eliminate half your problems. I would say that everything that you've wanted, everything that you're striving for, everything, every problem that you have, all of that is solved, all of that is obtained, all of that is here. It's not you that has to do the fighting. It's not you. I think in this world, in the way that I had thought about it, is that you work really hard and you attain something. You strive and you get. With this, it's 
Christ already strove. Christ already worked and did all the work for you. And now it's your job to believe and to manifest that into this world and to bring that out. And I think uh, when you when you're able to, uh, I think so much of the world was like, you know, keep keep this certain appearance, take these certain actions. If you follow this rubric or the, this manual and these steps, then it'll all come together, and you know you'll eventually attain this level, and you keep striving for that. And if you pray twenty hours a day, then that'll make you holy. And it, it's it's much more simple than that, and it's it's not formulaic. It's not any, it's not any technical answer. It's it's adaptive, and when you can really internalize that, when you can really renew your mind, all of this all of this becomes possible. It's, it's adaptive, and uh, I think when you can step back and, and realize that. So I would tell myself, I would tell myself two things. I would tell myself to to look up and to look inside. Because that's where the answers are, and that's who you are. And when you when you're able to realize that, and you're not worried about everything that's going on in the world, and you're not worried about appearances, then who you are emanates, and you take those the actions and everything that you're striving for anyway. Everything that you said right now, every Christian knows that. What's the difference with the mindset? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody knows what you're saying. Everybody. But there's something that's changed that you can't put on film, that you can't express, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know like, exactly. Like, everybody knows what you're saying, but it's like they know, but they don't. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. I think, I think we're afraid. I think we're afraid. I think a lot of it is fear. It's fear. It's fear that. It's a fear that is this real? It's a fear of. Of, what happens if I really start walking this out in my life? It's a fear of. Is that stuff that happened in, the New Testament real? Like did, did he really lay his hand? Did he really rip the bread and? The loaves came out. And I think it's fear because we don't think, because we don't know who we are, we don't really think that those things are possible. And we really don't think that, that, that we're the sons of God. We really don't think that. And so we're afraid to walk it out. And I think the biggest thing for me was A, realizing that I did have fear and, and having these guys and having other people and seeing them not being afraid and, and us having conversations and coming out of that fear um, makes you walk it out. It makes you renew your mind and makes you hungry for it. There was a day where something just clicked inside of you. It did. It was Friday morning, I think it was. What was going on? I don't know. I don't know how to say it in words, but the light bulb came on. And I really don't, I don't know how to say it in words for you, actually, I don't know. <laughs> but, to see it out of, definitely sons and daughters, and, yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how to say it in words. I, what happened, like, what's going on, like, what is it that your mind is going through? As a Christian, um, you know, like before you came, I'm pretty sure you had your thoughts or whatever about what you thought Christianity was. And I mean, what's the difference? I mean, coming here, like, what's it done to your thinking? What's it done to your perception? Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to think less. Don't overthink situations. That's how I feel at the moment. I was a big thinker. I overcomplicated everything, and you showed us yesterday as well that, that it's we sh yeah we shouldn't overcomplicate. Don't try and read books and just study, study, study to learn stuff. There's no reason for that. Holy Spirit guidance, 
it is just unreal. Just let it flow. There's no reason for all of that. So, before and after, I am... I really feel like I've been set free. I had massive pressure. It feels like I'm leaving someone behind here. That's how I feel at the moment. And that's how I felt on Friday morning. I left someone in that little office. And I don't know who he was, but I, I did say it felt lighter when I walked out of that place. That's how I feel now. Thank you.